all right welcome back to grow god tv today we're going to talk about is money the root of all evil so when you get down to the basics of what a root is on a plant a root is the beginning the start of something pretty much what starts the fruit of the tree what begins this evil that people are talking about so when you say that money is the root of all evil before we could even get into the pros or the cons of whether the good things that you could do with money or the bad things that end up coming out of having money you have to get to where okay where does it start from so where does the good or does the bad start from so the good and the bad first let's start with the good the good is that okay you got money you're able to buy things that your family needs you're able to get a house you're able to get cars you're able to buy food uh you're able to go around to different places travel and things like that so if these things are good then what are the reasons why people start to do bad because of the money okay well the root causes of people doing bad for the money end up being because they lose their job and they end up committing crimes in order to get money or they end up working and they are working their job and they keep working and stuff like that but they have a landlord and he keeps raising their rent every year but their wages aren't going higher so then the person starts thinking okay well i gotta start doing other things in order to get this money and to be honest yeah the paycheck is good you working but you can only work a certain amount of hours before you reach this point of where okay this is not enough I'm not working enough. I'm not bringing in enough. So you're only one person. You can only work a max of like, you only got 24 hours in a day. So people start deducing that and start thinking, okay, well, I need to get something that's going to pay me instantly. I need that instant gratification. I need that money now. And the only things that really give you that money now, to be honest, it's not stocks. It's not real estate. It's none of those things. It's going to end up being something illegal. Only the things that are illegal truly really pay you instantly. You can try to go on the corner and sell water bottles, but why would I buy water bottles from you when I can just go to Walmart and go get a whole case of waters for three, four dollars instead of paying you a dollar per water bottle? It doesn't make sense. Most people are already knowing that. So you trying to start some type of legitimate business is not going to pay you instantly. Most of these instantaneous businesses are going to be those illegal distribution type businesses that end up being something that people consider bad or consider evil which they were only doing it for money they weren't doing it because they purposely want to sell some type of drug to you they only really wanted to do it because they wanted the money and they wanted the money not for something evil but they wanted the money to pay their bills so that way they can live a normal life and have and the proper things that they need in order to survive so when you look at it from that type of context money may be truly the root of all evil because people only start doing these evil things not because they want to actually hurt anybody but because they want to do good things so they have good intentions but the way that they're going about it is wrong now if they were to still not pay their bills and try to still go do about it the good way they will end up still having bad things happen to them so just because you have some money that's coming in it may not be enough so then money could possibly end up being the root of all evil because people are starting to do things because they cannot get it the good way sometimes good does not always come out of having money not at the same time you can also do a lot of good with money so yeah you can donate money to people who are less fortunate but that those people who are on the other side of that they can only get but so much money there's only but so much money to go around to those people at a given time there's so many people that require the money that there's only a limited amount of money that is available for them to take in and actually have for them to support themselves not everyone donates so you would think okay if root money is the root of all evil and then people would possibly do a lot of bad things for this money instead of doing good things because of the fact that there's so many negative things that would happen to them if they did not have that said money you can't just go around and be like all right well money's not the root of all evil and you know and if that's the case then people wouldn't landlords wouldn't kick you out your house because you didn't pay rent they would just be like well you know it's, it's okay you know they they wouldn't have no problem with it because 
isn't they wouldn't do anything evil because of the lack of having money so people other people not only people who are supposedly doing a good deed to society by providing these foods and providing this housing they are doing a good deed by providing it but they're also asking for a certain amount of money so in return if you don't have that said amount of money evil things will happen to you you know people who are hold people up for ransom that's an evil deed people are doing evil things for this money not only are they doing like things like messing with your food or something like that for the sake of hurrying up and getting these drinks out and getting these foods out they're misrepresenting i mean we all we have all this documentation of people actually doing this over some money these people are trying to hurry up and quickening up their processes for the sake of getting some money so when you think about it in that terms money would definitely be the root of all evil if you really look at it like that because you have to look at it from the root cause of where all this evil is coming from if you're saying that money is the root of all evil so in those types of contexts you can have a pretty large argument for saying that money is the root of all evil like even if you're buying good stuff with it you're still kind of doing something evil at the end of the day regardless of whether you bought a car with it what is that car made out of you have that car made out of all kinds of dangerous materials that were mined by people who worked for a low low wage and probably wasn't even enough wage for them to pay their bills but you got a car you're happy so that ends up being oh money can't be the root of all evil it has to be a good thing because of the fact that well i was able to do something good with it but you don't look at the entire scope of of the of the issue or the situation the entire situation is that money ends up kind of being the root of all evil because that's where everybody is stemming all of their issues and problems and things from they're stemming it from the fact that they don't have enough money so they start doing things that are evil regardless of whether the end intention was good because you could argue that somebody selling drugs is doing something good as well as doing something bad because the person did not force anybody to buy those drugs. Those people ended up asking for those drugs. So if those people ask for them drugs and come and bring you money for them drugs and bring you money faster than you would work in a job, like working these jobs, you got to wait two weeks before you get your check instead of just getting paid that day. So that could be looked at as kind of evil. It's like, wow, this is almost like a form of indeed of like a slave labor in a way because you have to work and you don't get paid that day. You may go two, maybe even three weeks. Like I've gone three weeks without getting paid before. And, you know, that is, you know, your rent is mostly due every month. So if like my rent's due every month, my landlord is not going to say, oh, you know, I know your check is coming in, in one more week, you know what I'm saying? So I'll go ahead and wait. Most of them don't. They're they're not going to go for that, you know, and, and that's that's the thing. So when it comes down to whether money is the root of all evil, it actually might be the root of all evil. But if you think it's not the root of all evil, I would like you to drop it down in the comment section and let me know. What do you think? Do you think money is the root of all evil or does money really bring a lot of good into the world? Does money really help people? Because... At the end of the day, I mean, money buys you cigarettes. Cigarettes is not good for you. Money buys you alcohol. Alcohol is not good for you. So these things are not good things. This money will buy you bad things. So it, it, it could end up, you know, you could spend money and go to the doctor and there's millions of malpractice suits that go on yearly. So it's like, just cause you have a lot of money and you would think that it's gonna give you something good, it's gonna bring some good into your life, it may very well end up having you die because of some money, because you went and decided to spend this amount of money thinking that it was going to bring you some good and ends up killing you. So there's good pros. There's lots of cons as well. So you decide. I don't I don't want to be the decider of that. I want you guys to tell me whether you think money is the root of all evil. Have you had a lot of good things that have happened to you with money have you had a lot of bad things that have happened to you with money just drop it down in the comment section let me know share the video and tell other people and raise the question because i've never gotten a true answer to this question i've seen a lot of different types of answers that people have had versus the pros and the cons of whether this is a good thing or whether this is actually inherently a bad thing 
because you could argue, oh, I could buy a house, but then you could also say that you're going to still need money. And if you don't have that money that's continuously coming in, you're going to have some evil that's going to happen to you. You better pay them taxes. You better pay your mortgage off. You better pay for your grass to get cut or HOA is going to come and they're going to try and take your house from you. So it's like these things are end up being these pre, these pretty much these things end up stemming from one thing that originally was good, but then it simultaneously turns into something bad from an objective standpoint of how you actually look at it. So what do you guys think? Just drop it down in the comment section. Let me know. Am I bugging? Uh, I don't really have an opinion on it. I think it's it's a little bit of both at the same time because it could be just as good as it could be bad. So it could bring you a lot of great things instantaneously, and it could also bring you a lot of evil instantaneously. It can invite people into your home because they think that, oh, well, this person has a lot of money, so they won't miss their things being taken, or they have a lot of money, so I should be able to ask them for uh, X amount of money uh, whenever I feel like I should because of the fact that I don't have the money, so they should do some good to me because of that reason. But the other person may think, oh, well, dang, everybody wants to ask me for money. This is some evil stuff. So the people who have the money might think that it's evil. And the people who don't have the money might think it, they need it to bring some good into their life. So you guys be the judge of that. I won't be the judge of that. I just want to raise the question. I want to see what y'all think about it. I've never really raised the question on this channel. And I really want to raise the question to all of you and let you be the judge of that. All right. I'll see y'all later. Love y'all.